We're going straight to Kumasi because management of the Kumasi City Mall were told uh, locked uh, is locked in a crunch meeting uh, following the collapse of some parts of the mall, as you may well be aware of. Now, the facility was temporarily closed down as workers cleared debris amidst the NADMO investigations. But the mall is back in business after it was opened to the public as up to, uh, about 10.30 a.m. today. Management is yet to give any official statement over the development, but we'll be getting some more on them because my colleague, uh, Nana Sensu, has been following this. He joins me on the line uh, now with some more. Hello, Nana. Well, Nana was there earlier. This is a report uh, he brought through. So it's 9.40 a.m. here at the Kumasi City Mall. On a normal day, this place is very busy, but this time it's not happening because section of the ceiling has caved in and the main access routes to the commercial mall have been locked down. People sir. Eyewitnesses say the incident occurred around 7.30 a.m., two and a half hours to opening time. The main access point and other routes to the mall have been closed to the public while reconstruction and other cleaning of the debris is underway. There is heavy police and not more personal presence at the scene helping to maintain law and order. Kabinan Century is regional NADMO director. Actually, we are here to assess the situation, so after assessment, you know, we give you the feedback. Uh, really, we, we can't say this is a disaster because uh, it's just the canopy that came down. But anything can happen. It's not about uh, breaking of uh, pillars or maybe some of the... This, this is not uh, something that is serious. You know, we are almost done. We are just trying to educate everybody should be careful. I have a lot of men outside there. They have been educating people. Meanwhile, patrons are concerned about safety and want the structural integrity of the mall to be accessed. Nana Asensumensa reporting. And we'll be getting the very latest on that development. But we're joined on the line by John Bedubonsu, who is the Kumasi uh, City Mall Manager. Mr. Bonsu, thank you very much for your time this afternoon here on The Pulse. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, we also have Nana Asensu, our reporter, on the line. But Mr. Bonsu, I'm going to start with you. What happened? Uh -huh. Well, um, it's, let me let me greet your listeners and your viewers. It's quite unfortunate, but um, a section of the of the canopy ceiling that that absorbs the heat direct from the uh, from the roofing sheet just came down. Um, it's not something very major. The main cause we are yet to ascertain because the team is on site trying to find out what happened. We earlier the Nadmo guys were here. They also did the assessment and they said it's it's not something that they are worried about. It's an incident and not an accident, and therefore um, we are good to go. So mm. basically, that, that's what happened. But um, if you say that it's nothing major, it's nothing to worry about, we are good to go. I mean, phrases like this tend to make it look, uh, to downplay exactly what is happening. But should a child have been walking around here, certainly this would have been a, 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 a catastrophe. Yes, 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 yes. And, and we thank God it didn't, you know, there was no m major problem. As I said, um, he said it's an incident and, and, and therefore, uh, but we are not taking it lightly. Our engineers are coming down. We already have some on site to ensure that everything is, is, is well in place. And then, mm. yeah. But people are concerned about the integrity, the stru integrity of the structure. They're saying that if this part has caved in, which other part is going to cave in next time? Well, I would, I would, I would, I would assure them that based on the information I am getting or I got, it's not, uh, they shouldn't worry. But as a mall, we don't leave anything to chance. That's why the engineers are doing their own assessment, and we we, we, we know at the end of the day what is right to be done, and there will be no cause for alarm. So, but we, we assure them that we are doing our best okay. to ensure their safety. And this guy. Do we have an idea what caused this? Uh, it goes back to what I said that mm. the engineers are on site, and I'm sure by close of day today or later tomorrow, we would know exactly what caused it. But as of now, we know, you know what they the that they give us. It was just an 
incident, and it's not something that has to do with the whole building. So, but we are here to know exactly mm. the cause. Well, what are the engineers, the engineers who put up this structure? What have they said so far? Um, they are to arrive in the country in less than an hour. Okay. And as soon as they arrive, they will be on site. Uh, they will cooperate with the local authority and then our local engineers and some consultants also coming in. So we, by close of day tomorrow, we should know something. But as I said, it's no big deal from what they are saying, if I should go by their word. We hope mm. we, we are just hoping for the best and we know that everything is under control. So the mall is open, shopping is going on, mm. are here, shoppers are here, okay. managing staff are here and everything is under control. How, how is this affecting business there? I mean, you have your shops there. Even though we understand that the place has been open to business at the moment, it certainly will affect uh, uh, business there somehow. Definitely. Definitely it will have a, a, a role to play. But uh, business is going on. Uh, I, I see lots of people in the mall. Some are curious, coming to see what happened. And some are coming to shop. And we, as I said earlier, we guarantee them the safety. They can come. We are here. We are open. And yeah, all is well. All right, Ms. Abonso, as you say, we'll have to know, uh, we'll have to wait till later this evening to find out the cause uh, of this problem. We'll be calling on you uh, for that development. Thank you very much for your time. Well, let's, let me engage quickly Nana Sensu, who has been following this story for us. Nana, we heard the manager say, and obviously that's what you're expecting to say, that business has not been affected by what happened at the mall. Is that accurate? Definitely. Business is in session, as it is always. But I have also been engaging patrons and shop owners here at the Kumasi City Mall. And I asked them, are they, do they feel safe, especially shopping here? And then they are saying that they are not relenting on shopping here, especially when, while the Christmas season is approaching. Because they are saying most of the items, you can only get them here at the Kumasi City Mall. So this thing, or this incident happening here this morning, uh, it's not an issue that is going to sway them all from shopping here, they are constantly going to shop today and tomorrow. Nana, thank you very much for that update. Nana Asensu Mensa there uh, joining us all the way from Kumasi with the very latest on what's happening there.